Hi, John here. I just want to show you today, on Wednesday the 10th of January 2018, I want to show you my tennis. Look, look how big they are. They're really full up. Hmm? That's my lunch. And the bread goes with it, and the bread over there. And a bit of that stuff, the, the bad stuff. Goes with that. The soft drink always goes with that. Give it a bit of guts. And my fridge is loaded. Got tomatoes, onions, cheese, fish head. A big snap of fish head for later. And the kinnis. I got five of them all together. Yeah, yeah. In the fridge. Got oodles of stuff. Keep these going. Got onions here. Four onions. I've got to boil them up for skins. But um, Cecile said to me to boil them up. And I've got um, green curry, or uh, yellow curry, for my soup, corn, kamu kamu, mince, see, peaches, the bad peaches with the sugar in it, the cream, here, the milk, the milk, the jam, here's all the stuff that. Makes my stomach break like that. Trying to get it off, really. But, and some peaches. And so that's my lunch. There, right there. And the fish head for dinner. Later, the big one. The big fish head. The big fish head. Big snap of fish head. Just big snap of fish head, look. That's for later. It's quite a big one. And I make green soup out of it, out of curry, green curry, and some um, onions in there. Now, today I'm doing this, these apostoles, and I've got this one to apostolize, this big one, that's the main one, and I've split them out into separate ones. I've got to do some extra documents for here for Morris Baker's uh, deed title in here. I've split out the bits and pieces of it, and then this one here is on its own. This is the one we did in uh, doing a walk of eye, separate. So I've got to bind those up. There's the axe of King William the Fourth here. I've got to do King William the Third's axe and King William, King George the Fourth's axe yet. Postalize them, and this is the. Um, that's the. Proclamation here. And proclamation there. Okay. You put um, Ernest Augustus into um, Westminster and these ones as well. These are getting around to Cook Street. This is the old one of the Confederation of Chiefs here with Mohi Manukau there and the old Confederation of Chiefs uh, was in since um, back in um, 1985 to 2000 yeah. and so that's in this one here um, case law and all that okay and then this one this one here all these I've got a few more of them so this is Cook Street this one okay this is the old Cook Street title the original there all the deeds okay so that's the deeds of Cook Street and it went to this guy here um, in, uh, West, in um, um, court of our High Court of Admiralty in London, and Judge David Kinsey Mackey. Okay, so those are those ones that I've done really. Each one gets a postally seal on each of these books. I've got many more over there. I'm just going to see which ones I'm going to send through. And they'll all go by package to Wellington and I will put them straight online first that's got to be put into a, into a folder like this so I'm going to put, put them all together, separate them all out and this is the main one here, this is the writ warrant here of all the latest that was done up in Te Unawaka Marae and then we've got these ones here to go by themselves this was a fresh one 
for doing what I'm right on its own. And that bit goes into, I'm going to put, separate them into the right ones. So I've got to take this one as well. I've got to do this deep here. And these are the, Teori Ho is the enemy here versus King Ernest Augustus and the Paramount Chiefs versus Teori Ho and the Artifato Oraki. Right, all this here is a forgery of our titles. This here is a threat against this here, this one here. This deed, Kuriyoho and Natifato, O Kaipara and Natifato O Oraki, Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, in right of New Zealand. See, they've changed all their names around now. You won't find this in right of New Zealand because John Key got rid of it. They keep changing themselves and putting a fresh uh, wolf's clothing on and hides away some more. And that's a threat against the chiefs here in this flag of King William IV, Admiralty, martial law on this one. This flag and the chiefs is martial law on this one, the threat of Queen against the King and the flag and me, the surrogate King, right here, are put into that position. Right? It's a threat against King William III of Orange, King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus, the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, with the eight-point star right here on top of him, and this one here with me. Okay, and the eight-point star in the four corners of the earth, the British Empire strikes again. Okay, so these here, you see these fellows disappear. This this guy disappears, the foreign minister. They just seem to just shed their clothes and jump into an, another one takes over. But they are libeled. They are libeled. Is New Zealand at war with Israel. See, this, this all the bullshit they're putting together to make it look bad. And they're, they're the ones that are creating it. These thugs are creating all the havoc on the king's title and the king's laws here, signed by the chiefs, will pounce on these ones with this flag here. And the eight point stars, the British Empire is right there in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west, with the Admiralty flag and the black strip around the Red Cross, is the military of Britain, UK. Not the Queen. The Queen has gone to the EU Parliament and is trying to crawl back into, the, into Britain again. And Trump is running to Britain. Why, is he, why, is, why isn't he staying with himself? You see? So they're getting this trade thing around themselves. This is the trade flag of the world. And they haven't got a trade flag. We have it. So that's what I want to say today. I just want to show you my lunch, really. I better get into it before it disappears. Okay? And that's our machine here. And the backing covers. And the combs to put all the stitch all the, afterwards. I'll try and get through this today and try and get off to the lawyer by Friday to take all these documents, all the ones to get apostolized. He'll seal them and I'll box them off to Wellington um, in the courier, in a big box, and um, get them done. Sealed, once they're sealed, I'll put them online first. And there's some more in there. Some more books to apostolize in here. And that's back there. So I just got to try and get them out. And there's some more over there. I can see some more over there. They're all around the place. So um, that's really what I wanted to do. And this one here, Moira Hoffman's. I'm putting her apostoly together. Moira, I'm putting your apostoly together from your book. Just the pages that are concerned for the Russell family in the... Um, history of the picture here. I want to show you so you know. I'm just going to mark this page. I don't want to lose it. Right, I just want to show you this page here. This page here of London. Just try and focus it. London. Okay, you can see London, right? Contract with Hokianga. 
right there in the hooky on the harbour in Tahege Marae and that's Tahege Marae right there and our Marae's that are in this British title this is the Whakapapa of Russell Rata Moitara now Venus McGill no Tauranga well that's their title um, taking this ship of Admiralty here with its flag, the British flag and sticking this flag beside it on that British ship. This is a British flag with the red cross of the six King Georges over here, the four King Georges. The small cross is the four King Georges in the north, east, south, west of the world and the blue Admiralty, sea and sky and the seabed and the black strip around the red cross as you can see right there that's Satan to keep Satan out Satan's in this red cross here the big one okay Satan's in that big cross with the other King George's the King George in here is King George the fourth King Ernest Augustus the first King William the fourth and King William the third the Dutchman Okay, this is a Dutchman's flag and not a Spanish flag. The Queen is under the Spanish flag. This is a Dutch flag and we are in with the Dutch. Okay, so um, once again I'll just go back to this Whakapapa here. I've got all the other Whakapapas here of Kupe. Kupe there. Okay, so we'll come down down, try and focus it properly, to Puhi, come down, all the way down, with, this is the Russell family down here, Leaf family, but with Rahiri. There's Rahiri there, okay? Fakaruru, okay? Okay, all the way down here. Yeah. Moitara family here, yeah? and there's Fred Russell on Maura Hoffman's and it goes on in all the other whakapapas in the book along the way but it's going into other whakapapas as well so there we are that's the marium going on <coughs> and that's where I'm sticking to oh yeah not Titi Marai not Waitangi Marai the mana is not there the contract is London oh yeah okay and Auckland so there, that's uh, all I want to, I'm going to put the pages are relevant to Moira's citation, I'll put that in for her and um, her uh, apostolate, I'll put apostolate in for her, it's going to cost quite a bit of money but I've got Morris to give me a hand to uh, take care of that. Now with this video I'm citing all these videos from now on. Um, as evidence against Donald Trump and not so much siding with the um, um, Democrats as against um, the Democrats as being Obama and Clinton and Soros and all the rest of those thugs. Trump has his own thugs. They're just spinning the wheel and jumping on and spinning around and around and they're all going around together in it. Now Trump's all of a sudden, using his last bastion of law to go back and reach all the way back into the British Empire. That's a king's empire. That's this flag I'm just talking about. He's tampering with our title because of the Queen letting him use it through these bastard Maoris up in Whitehall. Peter Peroni, you should be hung, shot, dead because you are a threat against our flag, 
it's not your flag. You are an alien brown. And Ken Brown, this one's for you. You're a thug. The whole bloody lot of you browns are thugs. Okay? In the in the Ratna Church as well. I'm accusing the Ratna Church of stealing the Manikau's title. Stealing this Manikau's title because it's got one or stuck in it. And you've got me that's holding on to this title. It's not yours. It's not your name on there. I can't see any of your names on there. That's stuck to the Free Nations with this man, Mohi Manikau. Freemason. It's for 50 years. Okay? I was with him. I've got all his history here. I wrote the story. I've got all the videos with him on it. Going to see all the unmarked graves. And that's my father, right there with his. We did it both. We fashioned this both together. And it took me forever to get it out of him. If I didn't do this, there would be no title to talk about. For Referee for Manukau and Terawakato for Referee in Manukau. Their names are on here. Their names are on here. And I'm sticking right to them. And me, as the executor to speak for those chiefs, Referee for Manukau, Terawakato for Referee in Manukau, and Honest can speak for Hori Tikuri. Okay, just me and him. No one else can speak for Hori Tikuri because no one came to his hearing and his hearing. No one came to him to claim his name. No one came to claim his name. Just making a video. A video. I've been That's my friend in Philippines right there. And it's Flores. Yeah, I just spoke her a note, she's just writing me a note. And so we're keeping in touch with her in the Philippines. What kind of video? What I do. Doing. With the land titles and showing my fish snapper fish egg and tuna. So I'm just cutting, I, I, I do this all the time, I keep in touch with her because I'm going there to see Rodriguez Duterte in Philippines. Um, so, um, won't be long, won't be long. So I was just tell him to carry on. Uh, um, oh, that's good. Uh, that's okay. You see, I'm normal. I've got someone. I've got a partner there with her kids to keep in touch with the real world. I'll catch you, son. Catch you. Catch you. In a minute. I'm, um,
video. Yes. Okay, I'll just give me 20 minutes. So I'm just letting you know that I'm communicating here with someone I haven't met yet. So you take care of this. So I'll send one of these back. There, like that. So this happens all the time. And um, so I'm being real. And somebody else wants to oh, Yes. Just making a video, making a video on the wrong. Okay, that's two of them going at the same time as somebody else is going at the same time too. I haven't eaten my can. Okay, I better have my lunch. Um, so that's how it happens um, here at the moment. I'm just um, posted this up here. Come on, hop off. I, I've just posted here, get Kenosi urchins in Mangri TC Town Centre, then do King William for sealed martial law legal docs against Donald Trump and Queen Elizabeth II thugs. So there we go, I put some information on Do Donald Trump there and what's happening to him and what's likely to happen to him and um, what powers the Queen has. So it's all a bullshit story, just the same old fabrication that's going on. So I'm going to show you how to eat a tin. Just bring the kinna over to show you how I eat kinna. First of all, I drink the water. It seems to be an aphrodisiac. And then I scoop one of these out. Have a bite of bread. Mm -hmm. Then one slurp. Mm, just a bit. Another bite. Bite number two. Second verse. Same as the first. This one is creamy. You can see the cream. Hmm. The people in Australia. My daughter's in London. Cheers. Mmm. This is better than medication. I tell you, better than medication. Seven dollars ninety-nine a kilo. You're paying for the weight of the shell. If I could, mmm, that tastes good too. Mmm. The snappers eat it. Man, the shell is nice. Better than the road. I got 12 of these things. Hmm. I'm glad you see the right way to eat. 
Goodness. First of all, it's the water. Drink the water. First of all, you smash it open in a plate with a knife. Mm. As if it's an alien's head. Or one of those thugs. Put that through and drop them. Then eat them up. So I'm um, enjoying this. I eat the seeds as well. You might as well eat this. The shells too. We're paying for them. So it's no use chucking in the rubbish. Eat the shells, man. Mmm. Damn. Put some bread with shells, man. Man. And the inside. Eat your heart out. You people, get used to it. Let the pop. Mm mm. Bread just about gone. What is this about? Just how you, just how you clean up the tuna. But you leave the shells for last, because they're the best. They give you the. <coughs> The lifting power. The bite of shell. Mm. Hey, a bit of that. Oh, that's nice. The shell's better. Mm. Last bit. Last bit. Mm -mm. When you're a scuba driver, you eat everything. I'm not supposed to do this, but this is this probably goes with it. It's a bit of guts in it, and that's the story of a kina. I'll just take one more bite. Hang on, I'll just take one more bite. It's better. I get some big muscles, mm. so I can whack those thugs out of the way. That's what the king does. He eats all the solid stuff. Solid stuff, all right? Brain, killer, fishy, snapper equals power. Contract makes law. The law makes contract. Law of the sea. Okay, get that? Okay, that's all the fun and games. It's on with the money. One more spade at this. This is only a dollar. It cost me $26 for 12 kinners and a big fishy. I'll go get the fishy and show you. Here's the fish head. Here's the snapper. Okay. Beautiful. That's my lunch. That's my dinner. That's my dinner. I'm just showing them off to the depth. I've got to have my tennis and my fish. Because I want to get 
things going on the sheet. Now I did a bit of work on my um, other site, the um, tidal turbines. I just want to show you what I've been doing. And this is my other site I've been spending a bit of time on, getting ready with the tidal turbines. <clears throat> the type of buildings we're doing are similar to that, but that's for aqua farms and um, plants, um, 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 vegetables and so, uh, stuff off the ground that would be growing in buildings like that on the water. As you can see on the water there, we'll have those in the sea. So I've done a bit of work on that ship here got sold. That's why I missed out on that one. So I've been doing a, a bit of work putting some posts in. This is not supposed to be in here. That's not supposed to be. This is one of my sites, one of the 97 sites. That's not supposed to be in there. I'm going to remove that from there. Um, so I put this um, project um, stuff here. Oh, I've got the other ones missing. I want to put them somewhere else. My ship stuff has gone somewhere else. Where is my ship? All my posts see all. Okay, so here. Well, here it is. Here's the site. I was in the wrong place. Actually, I think. Oh, here we are. What is he, Mark? my friend. So here you see are uh, there. This all the buildings. This all the steel I've just been costing up all the steel. I've just got to drop this one here in there. The steel construction here, the steel. I'm costing up all the steel on the project for the um, bridge in the sea. So I just drop all the stuff in there so I can go to it when I get around to it. Here drop all the steel everything in here so I can find them. I get all the costs from Alibaba. I've got a count I've got a count with Alibaba. All the steel I want. I'm gonna ship I buy the ship as well and then load it up full with all the steel I want. And then it looks like I'll be building it here. Then to build it and ship it it'll cost too much to ship it. I'll get it done here and bring the engineers here to build it. I've got engineers here. So that's gone in the steel. There, there's the steel. So that's the size of steel that we're using for the frames. And one of those drones to yeah, see. So this was, this here will be 12 meters by 12 meters square and 12 meters high um, as being a standard size on the bridge, 60 meters wide, just five of those wide and five the other way. So rather than buy containers, it's better, it's quicker to build the building like this. Those are modular steel buildings, right? And um, I, I, I'd rather do our own contract. Cube shipping container. No, it's best, it's best to build it. It's better to buy all the steel like this, all this here, I buy all this stuff, bridge stuff, and then make all the, um, I, I, I sooner have um, steel constructions like this for the decks, um, to hold up the, the whole rig, I'm making a rig like this, like this, this here, but I'm going to make it ourselves. I'll get the engineer to draw it up. About 10 meters, not more than 10 meters. This Gradually, one is? Not more than 5 meters, because that is all of them. 
this one here I was going to get, it's 1.6 million or something, but it'll cost more than that to ship it out here. I'll get a cost on it to get this port straight here. And it's got the helipad for 100 people to live on and uh, work on. Our, it's, it's quicker to buy one of these jack-ups to bring to Ranfurly Bank and stick it straight up and then start building there after. Need somewhere to, this will go straight into the seabed, lock it to the seabed so it won't move. And then you've got this um, sitting out there with a uh, crane and everything. I'll, I'll, I'll get one with no crane, no, no drill. I don't want to drill. I'll just put um, things uh, on it that can a big crane, a, bi a big crane rather than this drilling. I don't want to do any drilling. Um, I've got a different way of drilling. So this this here, I'll just buy this um, jack up part here and uh, put that onto the um, the new um, it's like a big barge, big um, check up barge I'm, build, I'm building like this, like this. Okay, so it's like it's, it's like that, like, like that. Okay, so that's what it's, that's what I'm um put that in put that here. So I drop all these things in here so I can just go to the engineers and pull them out and stick it all together. It won't take me long to get engineers around to draw it all up. So that's what I do, one of those things but bigger. I'm doing one like similar to that but it's got more legs than that. Uh, it's not going to move. Um, so um, that's basically something I'm showing you. I'll just go back to the rest of it. Of um, just just the tidal project. There are other sites for other things as well. I'll be using the drone here for looking for fish and things like that, and for marking out land. I'm going into the sea more than on the land, really. I've, I've got to get these to span between um, for for the decks, frames for the decks. This is a ship I want that one. I was talking to my boy Richard. I think that might be the one that he was interested in. That one looks interesting with a crane on it. Just self-load the. Um, these are some of the gears I uh, uh, want to get. These these gear here, these things, cutting rock, water jets. Those jets there, there, that use flow water jet cutting machines. All those sort of things I'm interested in being an engineer. And this rock cutting gadget here. I put it on the end of a dig digger and drop the hole out in the bottom of the ocean and scrape around and clean the place up for the big rig to sit on. That's off Ranfilly Bank there, where these fellows are. The Ranfilly Bank. In that area we're catching the, all these big fish. We'll be right in the middle of that, but that's our land. That's our land title area out there, off the East Cape. That's my own land blocks. Um, that's for sale. Um, I'm looking for a building, big building. So I can just get the building. I'm not interested in that one. Something more permanent. That one's interested in. You get one of those. Got one lined up. Okay, so that was all. That's all I wanted to do. And those hemp. I want to use the hemp for floors and walls. The hemp, hemp for floors and walls. There'll be a potter. You can grow here. You can grow the hemp for the walls and the mud. This, um, the clay. We're going to use the clay as well for sealing uh, steel with uh, permazine, uh, under road sealer, um, stabilizer. 
that sort of stuff. So that's my day, really. I've just demolished one of those killers. That's one a day, I'll keep the doctor away. Uh, and this goes, just goes with salt water. I know when I was scuba diving, I always drink lots and breed and kinnis and dive. Always dive for kinnis before. But that just feels, makes me feel like I'm in the sea. One day I'll be in the sea. And, uh, Flourish for you, you can cook and keep the house at home while I keep planning things for what's to happen, especially what's happening in Britain with Brexit. There's a big about face turn of the Queen making dirty little deals. Dirty Queen making dirty deals. Um, that's what I'm saying. She's the dirtiest bitch there is on this planet Earth, and the British can't see through the clouds at what she's doing with the Rothschilds. So this big power note for the Rothschilds. <coughs> Coming up here, these ones here in this country. John Key, you, ran away with a spoon, dirty spoon, and your Bitcoin. Everywhere you go and everything you touch and everything you play around with, the bitcoins as well, you've got this big power note on your fucking head. Right? Like this power note. These power notes. We've got them all here. All the power notes are here. Okay? That's the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. I've got to print out the one with Ernest Augustus here and Jamie Shear, Jamie Patrick. But I'm going to use Ernest Augustus <coughs> rather than me and Jamie. And that's Matt Taylor in Britain, UK. And he's King Arthur with King. William IV. Okay, so that's that power note. And then we've got this one, Cork Street, for the land itself. That one. And then we've got this one. These are just the trilli trillion pound notes, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm just only going to put this one in the trillion pound note on the birth certificate. This one. If your name's got capital letters, you're going to be following what I do and claim the trillion pounds on the king's title, not the queen, the king's title because he made the British Empire, not the queen. So we're claiming the British Empire, not the queen. And the trillion pound note, that's what that this certificate name, if your name's in capital letters, it's worth a trillion pounds in this jurisdiction of Admiralty, King's Bench Court. And that one there is a billion pound. I'll put that one in, the billion pound note. With King William IV there. I've got to make one with King George IV. I'll leave these other ones out. I'll leave that one out. I'll just put that one. Put it down both, those two, apostolize those two, and that one. These ones are just the straight, straight trillion ones. But I'll put 26.57 million on Cook Street. Okay? That bear is on Cook Street. That's just the land. And I'll leave these other ones out. I'll leave these other ones out here. 
so that's it really that's my day for now I'm just going to get back to um, putting stitching all these documents together I'll have one more kinner and then I'll get into it so uh, for uh, John Trump this one for you where the hell do you get your authority from to enforce Admiralty law and your state of emergency where do you get your authority from who which king which era how far are you reaching back with no authority why didn't you do that before why, why, why hasn't anybody done that before you and why are you trying to reach over us with the flag of a king why are you trying to go around the corner through the Queen through America to try and make your America great again it's a fucking con artist it's it's a fraudulent corrupted bitch of a country with Israel and the Rothschilds. They're going out with this pound note. That's all there is to it. You people have broken this King's law. You haven't got any King's British Empire to go on. You didn't do it. The Queen didn't do it. You're only going on the Queen. You can't go on anybody else's authority, only the King George IV and King William IV and King William III put this Bank of England act together that made all the money that you're playing around with. You're playing around with money that has come out of the pound note that we've got the license to use on you, Donald Trump, and your fraud, corrupted, fucking, bloody dollar. Your US dollar is fizzling like fucking thin air and your pyramid is crashing around your bloody nose because you stole it. You bastards stole the pyramids of Egypt and the obelisk with the Catholic Church and the Church of England and every other fucking church on earth that's gone and stolen all those memorials and stolen our Moai statue standing in Washington D.C. in your fucking country, Donald Trump, and you, Gene O'Dean, that's my fucking memorial title to the whole fucking planet, Earth, Moai statue. Memorial standing in London, standing here in New Zealand, in Dunedin, in Auckland, standing in Chile. Chile's given the country back to my Rapa Nui, East Ireland. They've got their country back now. Now we're going to get this fucking country back and then we're going to get America back for the fucking natives. You, Gene O'Dean, and your Turtle Island, you're white. It's got nothing to do with you. You haven't got a contract. The contract's in this flag. And those Indians out there waiting for me, not you. You're not a fucking Indian or a black fucking dark native. You're a fucking alien white man. Maggot, that's what they're called over here. White pigs. White fucking pigs. That's what Pakehas are. The crooked ones. There's good ones and there's crooked ones. You're a crooked one, Gino Dean, right on this video. I've got this down right on your fucking head. This pound note is right on your fucking head. Gino D. This pound note is right on your fucking head. One trillion. And you won't have a fucking toilet to sit on. You'll get the hanging rope because you're stuck threatening me in the king's title. Which fucking king are you on? Which planet are you on? Which queen are you begging to now. You're begging to go into the Commonwealth. This is the Commonwealth flag of the world, you bitch. I'm saying that because Rodriguez in the Philippines talks like that too, calls you fellas bitches. And your law is a bitch of an ass of law. The Pope got rid of your laws. UCC law, Canon's law, Courier law, civil law, and Admiralty law. He got rid of it and you're still fucking using it. Donald Trump's using the Admiralty Law, which is martial law. He's fucking not supposed to use it. I'm going to turn this fucking lot on him. And you, Gino Dean, because you have no authority to use those laws. You have no authority to use these laws that made the Bank of England act. I'm using as citation against you bastards. And the bank notes, the coins, the gold coins of King William III, Dutchman, Dutchman, Zealand, New Zealand, Demon's Land. 
right? And us, a contract partner, private, nobody's bloody business. And magistrate, court, Edinburgh. It's all written all over these documents. I can't see you with your own document with Odin on it. Where's the fucking Odin? Captain Odin or Bly, Bly, Captain Bly, pirate. Where, where's your title? Do you know Odin? So shut your fucking mouth. If you haven't got a title, shut your fucking mouth. You've got no deed being there in America on that native land. They're all deed titles. I'm in the deed title field. That's my profession. You can be a professor of everything else, but not land title. That's my game. Now stay out the fucking road. Stay out the fucking road on this video. Anybody who's playing around with deeds. If you're playing around with deeds, you're tramping and trespassing on these titles. These are the blueprint native titles of the world here in New Zealand. The Queen's Maori people. Those are her own personal Maori people she invented. And so I'm going to invent the king's title right over her and everybody else that's sucking on her tits like Donald Trump and you useless bloody Americans. You've got nowhere to turn to. Go back to mummy. Go back to mummy where you came from. Go back. To, why don't you just back up and go back to England? Do you know then? Why don't you just fucking get off that land? that belongs to those native Indians, get off Turtle Island and then fuck off back where you came from and your ancestors. Go back where your white people came from in England and Europe and stay there in the West, in the Dark West, where your bloody brain is fucking talking shit. Right? It's talking shit. Talking about the Commonwealth. You want to join the Commonwealth now? Why the fuck didn't you join it before? Why now? Why now? What if Donald Trump didn't get in? What if Obama comes back and cleans you fucking lot out? Then what? What if the British don't want anything to do with you? If we got the flag and say to the British, go and clean them out. Clean you fellas out. We've got the contract, you haven't got a contract. Your third party, Donald Trump, on this YouTube video, I'm citing you, you have no contract with any king, let alone a flag to stamp our authority on any piece of land in the world the king went as British Empire strikes again. Okay, you got that in your thick heads? You Americans are big mouse. You're going around shooting everybody up because the Rothschilds have got this through the Queen and rampaging around the world, pillaging and plundering the common people's wealth the king's common people's will. And you're stealing everything. Now we're going to zap it off you with this flag. It's the king's flag of dominance. It's the king's flag of authority and jurisdiction in the highest court in the world. The king's bench court and Moai crown court. Standing in London, Brussels, France, Washington DC, New York, Dunedin, New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand, Chile, East Island, Singapore, and that's my title. Gina Dean, you fucking blockhead bitch. That's my title. That's my memorial. Where's your memorial? Fuck all. They're getting toppled over, pushed over. All your bullshit memorials are getting pushed over. And you're going crying foul. Well, that's all I can say for you, useless bastards, Americans. No one likes you, lot of thugs, because you think you're the boss of the world. Oh well, the only way, way to do this is take over from Britain. I'm going to step in there with this flag as their partner, the British partner. Not you, the British partner. Okay, that's all. See ya. I've got to have another killer. Bye.